do you know that with just your phone and no photoshop skills you can transform a photo from this to this well that's mainly because adobe recently introduced a new ai tool known as generative refill which enables you to easily add or remove objects from your photos with the help of ai well to use this ai tool on your mobile device the first thing you're going to do is open any browser of your choice for this case i would recommend using google chrome now after opening this browser go ahead and input this website firefly.adobe.com now once this very website opens as you can see you're going to access lots of features here first one being text to image the second one being generative fill which we are going to be talking about in this video all you have to do is go into this option of generative fill tap on this option of generate and then here as you can see you're going to get an option of upload image the image you want to edit using this option or you can decide to use some of these sample images as we are going to do in this video so all you have to do is select a sample image so for instance i can select this one right here so let me tap on this then i go to this option of try and then as you can see we will be redirected to this very page where we can edit our image now like i've said with this tool you're able to add or remove something from your image so starting off from these two options right here the first one which is active in brew is for add and then the second one here is for remove so in case you want to remove something you go to this option or in case you want to add something you go to the first option now again as you can see on this page on the bottom here there are more options and the first one is subtract so in case i'd put something like this i can go to this option of subtract then this subtract is going to help me remove my blush like you have seen me doing now aside from that there's also this option of blush settings so when you go here you're going to get all the options about the blush settings now in case you want to remove the background of your image simply go ahead and tap on this background option so tap on the background option as you can see let me tap on it and this option is going to help us remove the background as you have seen now of course you can use this feature to add any background that you want to your image so for instance i can put water background and then i tap on the generate option so i tap on the generate and then in a few seconds the background is now going to be changed to the background that you have input using the prompt all right so as you can see our background has been changed and depending on whichever background you like it's the one you're going to use so for instance i think let me go ahead and use this very background so you tap on keep so assuming i want to add another feature in this image i simply make sure this option of add is activated as you can see it's very active at the moment then you tap or use the blush option select where you want that object to be added so for instance let me select here and then as you can see i'm going to add for instance crocodile since it's water let me add the crocodile so that a crocodile can be added into our image so right tap on generate and then you're going to wait for a few seconds and this object is also going to be added to this image all right so as you can see a crocodile has been added and of course you can choose between these different images to see which one is going to look good in your photo now like i said previously in case you want to remove something from this image assuming the crocodile was initially there and i wanted to remove it i simply go ahead and tap on this remove option so it's the second one like i said and then from here use the brush feature to shade up this so you shade it up and then you tap on remove of course don't worry about covering the other parts as this is an ai tool and it's going to give you perfect results all right so as you can see our crocodile has been removed perfectly and of course you can choose between these different images select which one looks nice or better so let me keep this and again like i've said you can add whatever you want in the image so for instance if i wanted to add mountains behind here i can select the add option i do this i add where i want the mountains to be i tap on the prompt then i input mountain then generate and then again in a few seconds the mountain will be generated all right so as you can see the mountain has been generated and again you have to choose between these different images to see which one is going to make the photo look better so for instance i believe this one is very nice and i can keep this now finally in case you have an image and you've liked it and you want to download it you simply go to this options option on the top of your screen options and then from here you select this option of download and then in a few seconds this image is going to be downloaded into your gallery and you can start using it wherever you want of course that is what i can briefly say about using generative fill on your mobile device but of course once you start using it you're going to discover a lot more about it otherwise that's it for this video in case you're new here don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell i'll catch you in my next video peace and love